Sometimes we laugh and sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Baby, I took a half and she took the whole thing. Slow down. Baby, we took a trip, now we on your block and it's like a ghost town. Baby, where did these niggas be at when they said they going all this and all that? You can't even pay me enough to react Been waking up in the crib But sometimes I don't even know where I'm at Please don't pay that nigga songs in this party I can't even listen to that Anytime that I run into somebody It must be a victory lap, hey Shawty come sit on my lap, hey They say I'm just snap This is between us, it's not like a store This isn't a closable gap, hey I see some niggas attack And don't end up making it back I know that they had the crib Going crazy down bad What they had it didn't last Damn, baby yeah. Where did these niggas be at When they said they doing all this and all that hard to make, so I bet they on their face right now, when he tell the story, that's not how I went, know they be lying a hundred percent, moved out of the wrist and forgot about that bed, why they just call me to tell me come get it, now that boy off and I don't want no credit, if it was me, they wouldn't regret it, that me was dead and now they won't get it, party still beating, my niggas still eating, like I'm pretty much done my nails. I just have one more nail left to do and I'm going to show y'all how I've been doing it. But this is what I came up with. just like a blue cloudy scene. And I'm going to show you how I make the clouds on this thumb because this thumb is not going to have any clouds. So I have my little dotting tool from, well it's an embossing I think from Dollar Tree. And I have a glob of white paint on the nail box. I'm going to take the big part, dip it in. So it's like that. And I'm going to create one top one and then like that basically like that right and I'm gonna make another one for and it's fine if it looks weird at first because we're gonna fix it then I take one of these brushes that I got in a kit of Amazon and literally just like pull down on the cloud to make it look more cloudy and i know y'all can't see y'all like girl you can't see but it's fine i'm gonna clean up the side a little bit some alcohol this isn't really a tutorial i'm just trying out this spray like the first time and i wanted to show y'all my journey and let me clean it up and that's what the clouds look like after i blend them out so i just stick them in my lamp for 30 seconds and then i'm gonna take you guys along as i do this last one all i'm gonna do to this left hand is put some i thought about putting another coat of builder gel on top but i'm just gonna put this top coat on just to seal everything in place and on this hand i already did these already underneath i put a coat of top coat so i'm going to do that
freaking nail just popped off. That's why I said this is not a tutorial because I am not a pro. But in a minute, I'm going to be able to be like, well, all my fingers done, so it's fine. So I'm going to take some alcohol and wipe my nail off, you know, because these girls be making it seem like it's so easy to do your nails, and it's not. And mind you, this is not the first time I've done this. <sighs> but I'm about to file the inside of this nail, which I didn't want to do. I wanted to use the primer method, and the primer method has been working on pretty much all of my other nails, so... I don't know. Why it ain't working right now? I literally probably had to file the inside of one nail. I'm about to file my nail because it has a little gel on it. Right there is the air bubble. That's the air bubble. That was on my nail, but I'm not gonna go and file my nail no more. I'm gonna use one of these buffers. Buff it. It's starting to come off. This is the gel. Okay, whatever. So we're about to try it again. Now that I think about it, I guess it's a good thing that my nail popped off because it was crooked. So always look on the bright side, folks. So we're gonna try this one more time. It's been working on all my other nails, so I don't know why it's not working right now. Probably, be, probably because I'm recording, but should it not work, I'm literally not in the mood to do my nails anymore. I've been doing them since probably like three and I wasn't expecting it to take this long. And the only reason it's taking this long is because I'm filming. So if it doesn't work this time, I'm just gonna glue it on cause I don't have time. It's literally one nail left. And at this point I'm ready to be done. seconds so this is now we're at three and a half minutes then i'm going to flip my hand over and do another 30 seconds so that'll be four minutes Nails. She's She's my great. hand is flipped 30 seconds <laughs> for another 60 seconds because i don't think it's fully dry and like i said should these nails pop off i'm literally just going to glue them on with some glue like i'm not about to play with this gel stuff all right, I think that's as about as good as it's gonna get. I'm actually gonna put one more coat on top. 60 seconds. I'm actually gonna flip my hand over after this and put it in there for 60 seconds. All I'm doing is curing. I've been curing this hand. This finger is probably gonna be cured for like 10 minutes altogether because it's just not. This is the struggle of doing your nails at home. Me making it seem like, oh my God, it's so easy. You just put the base coat on and you put this on and you put it under lamp. I tried the gooseneck lamp, didn't work. I have other lamps like that I probably could have used. This clip is very helpful. If nothing else y'all take away from this video, these clips are very helpful. You put it, like I said, this is how it goes. This curvy part is where your finger pad goes. But yeah, these clips are very helpful. The gooseneck lamp didn't help. I don't know if it's not strong enough or what. This builder gel is okay, but it's only $10 off of Amazon. So maybe this is, you know, the last time I did my nails, I think I used Builder Gel. Oh no, I didn't adhere them with Builder Gel. I put Builder Gel on top, but that was Madame Glam Builder Gel. So this is what we're looking like right now. This is what we're looking like. I can't, it's a little bit crooked, but it's okay. I'm gonna wipe away the excess. <sighs> I need some Q-tips, but I'm not about to go get no Q-tips. I'm about to wipe my hand with some alcohol. I mean, my finger with some alcohol. Put a base coat on. Base coat, one layer of jelly polish, two layers of temperature change and polish. And this thumb is not getting no cloud. So that's all she wrote for this thumb. Now I said I was gonna flip my hand over and do it for 60 more seconds. So let's do that just in case. Yeah. 
Yo, my hand has been underneath the lamp for literally probably 30 minutes. I just was kept, I just kept carrying and kept carrying and kept carrying and kept carrying. And I like to not, should a nail pop off, I'm gluing it because these are cute. Yes, they were done by the kid. It's, you always feel better, like, even if your nails look trash. I mean, you do be feeling good when you get them done and they look good by somebody else or whatever. But speaking for somebody who has done their own nails numerous times, you feel so good when you do your own nails, honey, because it's like, I did that. And I don't care if it looks amateur. I did it. It's me. I win. You lose. I'm gonna put some more cuticle oil on since I just washed my hands. I'm gonna use some of this. I'm not a big fan of it, so I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is because I don't recommend. If I was to recommend y'all any cuticle oil and y'all doing your own nails, get you some olive oil, put some garlic in it, microwave it for like 10 seconds, and yeah. Yeah, they be lying to y'all when they be telling y'all doing your nails is super easy. It's really not. And I really don't have the patience to try to get my nails like 100% perfect. Like, I, I really don't have the patience. I know y'all see the mess. It's a mess. Yeah, I don't have the patience to make it 100%. Ugh. Ugh. You're lying. I told y'all I'm going it down. Hold on. BRB. Okay, we're back and we're better. Nails is back on. Who, me, I, sob, did that. <laughs> I just used this nail glue. It's from either Dollar Tree or Family Dollar. It's the Rapid Dry Pink Glue. I prefer nail glues that look like this as opposed to the stick glue. I don't know why. I just feel like these work better. Again, don't know why, but again, you would never even know that one popped off. If I can give y'all any tips, in all honesty, drink some water, be prepared because you're in for a long, you in for something that's gonna take you a little minute, okay? Number two, I have yet to do my nails using this gel method, like putting my nails on with gel and one not pop off right away. I am not well versed in getting my nails on without any air bubbles and that's what makes them pop off air bubbles and also like gel spilling out and getting on your finger like that makes it pop off because it's not secure and it's very safe the only thing that works for me majority of the time is putting my nails on with glue and then going from there and my nails feel really like really good my nails feel really good really thick with, I guess because of that uh, builder gel. But if I was to do this again, which I probably most likely will, I have all this crap to do my nails. Of course I'm gonna do it again. I don't know, like I really have to like really practice with that gel, like the pray method or whatever, because it don't be working for me. I don't know, I watched numerous videos and it works for other people. It just don't be working for me. I don't need to be putting my hands in and out of that gel lamp over and over again. Anyway, I literally probably put my hand underneath that lamp Literally, I probably have my hand all under there all together, like I said, 30 minutes. I'm about to put some shea butter on just to combat any, any damage that I just done. Because I don't know, some people be saying this, the UV rays are good for you, but I think they be talking about the actual sun. Like, I don't think they be talking about lamps. Like, they be trying to say like, oh, you know, people try to act like the sun is so bad for you. UV rays are so bad for you, but they're actually good for you. Like, you need UV rays. Like, you know how plants need photosynthesis, all that crap. But I'm just going to put some shea butter on my hands and down my arms because I literally had my hand under that stuff trying to cure this 
builder gel for a little minute. I don't know if I need to try a different builder gel. I don't know if I need to try a different nail gel to get my nails on. I've noticed multiple people use the Beatles nail glue. It's basically hard gel. So maybe I'll try Beatles out if I, when I do my nails again, I don't know, but I'm trying not to like buy a whole bunch of stuff for the month of June. But yeah, I'm very happy with how my nails turned out. They are temperature changing like this blue polish, but you don't notice it as much because I put the jelly polish underneath the temperature gel polish. So, you know, I have that glittery effect from the temperature changing polish, but it's still gonna be blue for the most part, no matter what, because of that jelly polish under it. You feel me? I love my nails. Mm, we're ready to film some video. Like I said, if I had any tips, I don't even know what I've been talking about for the last for almost five minutes but if i had any tips just use the nail glue sis like i don't have this sobby land stuff if anything else it really helped make my nails thick like it literally feels like i have acrylic nails on right now and i don't so if anything i would just recommend you doing the nail glue get you a dollar nail glue pop your nails on i do like these nails to some, they might be short, but the only reason I got these was because I didn't want to have to cut my nails and they be different lengths. Like I wanted to keep the same shape. I wanted to keep the same length and keep the same energy all around and on my nails, okay? Because I hate when I clip my nails and they be shorter than the other ones, you know? Or I hate when I get my nails done and they're not the same length. I don't like that. If you're gonna do anything, get you some nail glue, pop the nails on, file them, like get the shine off, put a layer of Builder Joe over top so they could get thick and then do your little design and then yeah and i also put like i said a layer of top coat underneath my nails but that might have been just being extra but if y'all take anything away from this video if you try that pray method make sure you got some nail glue because if a nail pop off you need to pop it back on but that's about it y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this video don't forget to do your good deed of the day and like this video and if you're so inclined you can also subscribe for extra cool points extra blessings extra kudos i'll see y'all in my next video bye Rushing to it if it's too soon, but I know you need to get done and done.